Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and today we have a pair of active noise cancellating earbuds from Arimo or Aura Emo or, or, or Aremo. It's a pair of wireless noise cancellating earbuds which offer Bluetooth 5.0. It has six microphones for the active noise at cancellation. It's got in ear detection just like the Apple AirPods. It's rumored to have 43 hours of playtime deep bass and it's also with Bluetooth 5.0 it carries low latency as well. They're also IP55 waterproof so if you want to use them whilst in certain sports for example uh, you can do that as well. So apparently it has not heavy bass but heavy bass. This is their proprietary sound tuning technology to increase low frequency for deep and powerful bass music. So it is heavy bass, but they're trademarked heavy bass. So let's see if that's true. So first, let's check out what's inside the box. Listen to your own rhythm and keep exploring. Okay, so here's everything you get inside the box. You get a small little card that tells you how to activate the noise cancellation. I'm not quite sure why that's outside of the manual. Uh, the manual itself, they're called the Free Pods Pro. They're not free. Uh, Everything else that you get inside the packaging, how to charge it, the various charging indicators, how to pair, and that's it. And that we've got that in English, French, German, uh, Italian, and Spanish in the UK. You get the wireless case with the earbuds already in it. We'll come back to that in a minute. You get a pair of large and small ear tips to suit your ear canal. A rather small, sort of 20 centimeter long USB-C to USB-A cable. If you want to accessorize it, they also give you a silicone case, uh, which allows you to attach it to a cord of some sort. And this will allow you to have it on your person and hopefully not lose it. So we won't be doing the silicone case just yet. Uh, we'll look at the manual in a second and the earbuds, but let's have a look at the case itself. So very similar to the AirPods case in terms of size, at least the AirPods Pro, we put them together here. I'll say it's slightly less in uh, in its width, but it's uh, a little bit more uh, in its depth. We've got the USB-C input port there on the bottom uh, hinge point, nothing else at the top. Um, that's not sort of a clasp, but you've got like a pairing button, a little bit similar to the back of the AirPods Pro to initiate the pairing process if it doesn't do it automatically. So let's have a look at the earbuds themselves. So it's got a little clasp, uh, the logo goes with it. And there we have our earbuds sitting nice and pretty. And that's cool. Uh, I basically opened up the earbuds and my Android phone that I'm recording on has come up with a card very similar to the Apple AirPods card uh, to initiate pairing. So that's a really nice feature to see. We've got um, some pairing indicators here. Don't know if you can see that. It's like red and green flashing. The left one isn't flashing yet. That might be because it's got a, a cover on the contact sensors usually. But they're nice and sitting pretty there. They don't like, nicely magnetized inside the case. So they don't fall out when you sort of drop it on the floor or whatever. They don't explode like the AirPods do. That's as far as the clasp goes. You can't bring it any further that way. And let's have a look at the earbuds themselves. Here's the actual earbuds. So they've gone for a really nice minimalistic sort of design. You've got a tube of what looks like aluminium charging indicator on the top. This would be a touch sensitive point down here probably for active noise cancellating. Got in-ear detection. And let's have a look at the driver. That's powering it. It's kind of like an elliptical driver rather than a round one. So that's a bit unique. That would also mean that can't reuse ear tips probably. Uh, from another earbud so you have to use their own um, so these are rocking the mediums at the moment so we'll test those in a second uh, and you've got like a, a microphone input and the charging contacts at the bottom there as well uh, small little branding on the side there and it's kind of like gray it's not black and the tube is kind of almost like a gunmetal gray kind of stark color uh, it's not chrome it's, it's darker than chrome but it is shiny i would have liked to have seen this um like the illustrations on the photographs on their Amazon listing, it's a little bit more matte color. This is a bit more glossy. I would have preferred if this was a bit more matte in color. So that's that one. The left earbud kind of takes a little while. I think it would be nice if they were sort of recessed, they're a bit easier to pull out. They are a bit difficult because the magnet is quite strong. But we got it out in the end. So these aren't being covered, so, so I don't know why this one's not um, powering on. Maybe this is the primary, the right earbud. 
Let's weigh them. So the case on its own, 36 grams. One earbud is five grams, so that's the same as an AirPod. And again, five grams. So everything together, so quite very light. Um, and they all snap back in there nicely. And the case closes. We've got a little charging indicator there, that was green. So let's find out what green means. So green indicates the highest charge of the case itself. That's when it's charging, that is. Steady green means it's got um, the highest amount of charge in it. So out of the box, it's got a good amount of charge already. All right, let's get these paired up with our iPhone. Go to our Bluetooth settings. They've come up nice and fast. I've we'll put them in. Got connected in my ears, someone's saying. Get the other one connected. And this one's now come alive as well. So there's little beeping noises when you're handling these it's a little bit annoying but at least you know that you're it's detecting the touch because you've got no physical button and these sort of stems stick out you kind of want them beam forming to the corners of your mouth probably but um they sit nice they don't come out mine sort of when i smile they seem to fall out of my ears sometimes but they seem to sit inside my ears totally fine and we're already playing some music. So let's go through the motions. So it's one tap to play and pause. We've got two taps for next track and three taps to go to the previous track. Uh, if you're answering a call, it's again just one tap to answer. Tap and hold to reject a call and tap twice to end the call. So you've got noise cancellation on the left earbud just by holding down the sensitive button for two beeps. There's also a heavy bass option. We'll try that out. So that's four beeps on the left ear. So that mimics a uh, when you've got loudness mode on a stereo, for example. That's the nearest I can sort of is very similar to. It does give you nicer deeper bass. So uh, four beeps on the right ear will enable game mode. So that's probably like a, a lower quality but lower latency mode. So if you were to be gaming, you'll be less out of sync with what you're seeing on, on the screen. And to toggle the Siri mode is just two beeps and then up comes Siri. Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and this is an audio test using the Orami Hybrid Active Noise Cancellating Earbuds. And this is a test using the earbuds without any background noise. So I thought the microphone sounded all right there. Again, not brilliant. You don't want to be recording your uh, debut single on it or anything like that, but it, it sounds, I came across clear. It wasn't really muffled at all. But let's try it with an audio noise test. So we got our cafe noise playing on in the background. And we're gonna put on these earbuds and do another microphone test. So there is a transparency mode, I just realized. So the noise cancellation does a fairly good job, but it doesn't drown it out completely. Uh, it kind of takes the, the ambient sound and makes it a little bit more smaller and more tinny and for me it sounds like it's at the back of the head so if i play music over the top it does a better way of making the music sound a little bit more up front and all the background noises out in the back but i can't hear the cafe noise at all now uh, the music is all playing out instead so let's try a noise call hi this is anthony from carplaylife.com and this is an audio test using the Orami hybrid active noise cancelling earbuds and I'm in a cafe noisy environment and this is an audio test to see if it picks me up okay or not. Wow so that's really really impressive that's some really good noise cancellation there for the calling at least I couldn't hear any of the background at all very surprised in fact I'm so surprised I'm going to do an audio test on the Air AirPods Pro for comparison. Transparency mode yeah, the pros don't do as good job of the noise cancellation. It's still very uh, in front of me. It's not at the back. It's not reduced that much at all. So I'd say that the the Oramio earbuds are doing a way better job at just general noise cancellation. Uh, let's try a call. Hi, this is Anthony from CarplayLife.com, and this is an audio test in a noisy environment in a cafe and this is an audio test of the microphone quality right so you can hear with these you can definitely hear some noises going on in the background so i'd say that's a massive win for the oramio earbuds in terms of noise cancellation as well as microphone recording while we're at it let's have a go at the silicone case so that just goes on the bottom there there's a little light 
which I believe is on the front side. So you can see the little indicator there when it shines up and the top end. And there you have it. So that's the silicone case on the top. Um, makes it a little bit more tactile. Uh, easy if you were to drop it, for example, it's going to take the knocks and bumps from that. You've got a nice opening there for the USB power uh, lead not to get obstructed when you plug it in. And you've got a nice little dongle handle there, which is looking after the majority of the case and the lid doesn't accidentally pop open either. So I'll be pretty much safely assured that this isn't going to come off um, as good as the silicone ring is basically. So that's good. Right, so I'm going to listen to these for a little bit longer and um, come back with my full impressions. So I'll see you then. Several days later. Right, so I'm back after checking out the Orimo uh, earbuds for a number of days now in various bits of music, uh, various uses such as gaming and watching video. And I'm very pleasantly surprised with these earbuds. For their price, they really do give a nice warm and rich sound with a very punchy bass. Some would say probably their bass can be a little bit overwhelming over the mid tones and high tones. Uh, it can slightly dampen them down a little bit. But I think just as a general sound, uh, they're very nice and rich to listen to. At high volumes, I didn't find any distortion in the overall sound as they came out. But as I said, the heavy bass can sometimes dampen down the highs and mids on certain types of music. But if you like EDM music or sort of drum and bass, then these earbuds are pretty good for that because you'll appreciate their overall punch, whilst the speech and vocals are just as good on with these earbuds as well. Toggling the heavy bass mode, I really couldn't tell that much difference between the bass levels, at least in my music that I tested it with. So I found that a bit irrelevant to have that feature with these earbuds. First of all, I found that they're very difficult to get out a lot of the times. Uh, there's very small amount of space at the top here to get your fingers around. And because they're cylindrical here, your fingers slip off here. So you're kind of forced to use the, the very tip of the stem just to get some purchase and pull it out of the, of the case. I did find their touch controls, which is roughly in this top area here, to be a little bit too sensitive. When you're putting them in your ears, you're, you're pressing the edge of the, the tip already and that just can start playing music. And even though they've got in-ear detection, it took a long while for them to detect that they're out of my ears before any music stopped. And for apps like YouTube, that would just carry on playing, at least on Android uh, YouTube app. So just generally adjusting these in your ear, you do tend to touch the sensitive options. And I would have preferred if there was no one touch function and play start and stop was like two taps or something. So you had less misfires from the earbud when you had them in your ears or when you're manipulating them in your ears. I found with Android Auto, I really like that it had that pairing card that flashes up on the screen, very similar to Apple's own AirPod card and its iPhone. Uh, once that's connected, it will then sync up with all your other Google related devices. So that means pairing will be a little bit more seamless that way too. It's unfortunate that the case isn't wirelessly chargeable. Uh, being plastic, it would have been nice to have that wireless function actually inside the case to be able to charge it. So that's something I would like to see in the future. Powering the case, nice, and you can actually just toggle the LED without going into any sort of apps or anything to see what the charging amount was. Uh, it's a shame it's just three colors and not sort of dots to let you know how far in the battery is left in the case. But at least we've got some indication. I found the line of sight with these earbuds to be very good, at least over 10 meters, no problem whatsoever. And going behind a few brick solid walls, uh, it was fine on one solid wall, but once it got to about two solid walls of around about six or so meters, uh, it will start to break up pretty much on par with the Apple AirPods. Uh, they don't seem to like anything beyond two solid concrete walls. I really wasn't a fan of the silicone case, although it went on the case totally fine like this. Because it's just two pieces, it wasn't really a nice integration, I thought. There's always a bit of a gap. You can manipulate it a little bit, uh, but you've got a big, huge gap here for the hinge to function, and it just generally wasn't that seamless. So as a silicone case, I probably wouldn't have had this on if I was to keep these earbuds on my person. I'll just go without the case. And the case is hard enough anyway. 
Uh, it could probably get scratched because it is plastic uh, with some keys, for example, but just generally, I think just the case is a bit nicer and it makes it a little bit smaller as well without the silicone case attached. The chrome stalks can be a little bit of a finger magnet, but because it's quite dark in its color, they don't really show up that much, but I would have preferred a more sort of matte brush steel kind of effect on these stalks instead. There's a very faint L and R on the bottom there. If you were to get any of these mixed up in your ears, uh, that's quite easy to miss that little because it's quite subtle. And generally I think a brushed darker color would have made these look a little bit more premium than this chrome effect, if I'm honest. Uh, the general call quality I thought were to be very, very good. It's good and clear. I could definitely hear the caller without any problems and they could hear me without any problems. With the active noise cancellation on, that makes it even better because it would drown out any outside noise and reduce the amount of distractions that you might be having during the call. I found that the beeps when you're interacting with them, they merge with the audio that was playing in the background. So if you've got loud sound playing out already and you're tapping these buttons down, those beeps are very, very faint. It doesn't sort of reduce the audio in any way. So it's quite hard to listen out for those beeps. Luckily, the maximum you can do is four beeps. So if you just held the button down, you would get to the fourth and it would trigger. But that's game mode and heavy bass mode. So heavy bass mode, I thought, as I said earlier, it's not really that relevant. And even in game mode, I really didn't see that much of a significant difference in its latency. I did try the audio sync in videos as well as in gaming. I played Call of Duty for a while and the sync was totally fine for that, as was the video playback. Everything was all in sync to me. I would say maybe the game mode had a slight fraction decrease in the latency in the game playing and like if you were to fire and when you would hear it, but the differences between normal and game mode was very little and I honestly didn't really tell much difference in audio quality either. But after a few hours with these in your ears, I did feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, it did, my ears did get a little bit sore after those hours, unlike some other earbuds that I tried that I was able to get them in my ears for a little bit longer and I didn't really feel as much discomfort with these earbuds. To be fair, I could have tried the smaller ear tips perhaps, but honestly, I found these medium ear tips to be just perfectly for me. And I didn't really feel the need to go any smaller because that might have defected the amount of bass that would come from these ear tips. And if you're looking for noise cancellation whilst you're sleeping, for example, I tried that out too. And I find the stem to be a little bit more protruding than say like the Apple AirPods where it's a little bit rounded off at the top here. So if you were to be sleeping with these in, you definitely need more space on your pillow side head for these not to really stick out and cause any irritation whilst you're sleeping. So these aren't really really great sleeping bud earbuds if you were looking for a cheap pair of these for sleeping with. But the best thing is, is it's price. It sells in UK Amazon for £59.99 currently today, down from £69.99. And in Germany, it's for €49.99. Euros 99. America, they are selling this, but they don't have a price at the moment. So I think they're due to be stocked soon. But I would imagine that the pricing would be very similar. And for the price, I think these are really nice earbuds with some really nice, great sound from them for their price. And for me, I had better noise cancellation and better microphone over background noise than my AirPods Pro. So that says a lot for something that costs like a third the price or less than a third the price. So if you're looking for a pair of earbuds and there are many out there in this price range, I would maybe consider checking these out and see how you get on because for their price range, they're, they're pretty decent. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, leave us a like down below and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about these earbuds from Orimo. You can check out all my other tech reviews up in this top playlist up here. Hit that subscribe button to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.